Welcome to the Neocash Newscast, number three, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news from around the world wide web. Please be sure to click the subscribe button and be one of the first to receive cutting edge news. Neocash Radio and the Neocash Radio logo have been used to perpetuate a scam. There is a Google Doc, Weak Sauce, that purports to offer the sale of NCR or Neocash Radio tokens. This Google Doc has no affiliation with Neocash Radio and is a scam. Please do not send Ether to this contract address. There appear to be a bunch of transactions sent to the contract address. I would like to think that anyone who actually listens to our show would know this is a scam from the onset. We would have promoted it at least once on our podcast. This highlights one potential issue with the current breed of investors and gamblers. They don't do much research. If a bad actor is going to fleece the crypto newbies, now is a good time. Please be ever vigilant and research what you're sending crypto to. Also be sure to check the destination address on Etherscan or another prominent block explorer. Furthermore, this token sale didn't even have a white paper, explains what the token will do, or even bother listing a single value proposition. It seems all it takes is some hashtags to garner a few thousand dollars in donations. This past week, news stories circulated that the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the People's Bank of China are going to have a joint statement regarding a crackdown on, quote, all virtual currency services and activities of both individuals and businesses, including market makers, mining operators, trading platforms, and wallets, unquote. The email came from the People's Bank of China's email servers, but was a hoax perpetrated by hackers. The news has a negative effect on the crypto markets driving Bitcoin prices downward. This is likely the intention of the hacker. The email came from at pbc.gov.cn, and media inquiries to the address were answered with the hacker even going so far as to send a media registration form for the joint statement event. This is quite sophisticated. Rayblox, a block lattice coin, has rebranded as Nano recently. As a new coin, there are not many exchanges to trade on. BitRail is one exchange that opened XRB pairings. Those pairings grew to as much as 85% of the platform's total trading volume. At the end of January, BitRail announced that they would be changing policies and denying service to anyone outside the European Union. They would also be implementing more thorough know-your-customer requirements. This sent shockwave through the community and realized a 20% loss in the value of the coin. Now news has come out that BitRail has lost 17 million XRB and is insolvent. From their website, quote, internal checks reveal unauthorized transactions, which led to 17 million nano shortfall. The issue has been submitted to the local police and is under investigation. Once again, please do not leave your coins on an exchange. Store your crypto in a private wallet whose keys you control. You're already gambling that the price will go up. Why also gamble that the exchange will have good security practices or no bad actors internally? Visit us at neocashradio.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share these videos. For Neocash Newscast, I'm JJ. May the trades be ever in your favor.